Mac Jones, of all the quarterbacks drafted last year, has a legitimate chance to be in the MVP conversation this year. I think that's a fascinating take because there's all this Trey Lance for MVP conversation out there. Remember the five first-rounders last year, and they've had varying, you know, Trevor Lawrence, and we got the Zach is hurt now, and we've got Justin Fields in Chicago. And all the Trey Lance is going to be MVP conversation, but you're telling us you think Mac Jones is going to have that season, Mike. Why? Because he had a great year last year. He stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tom Brady, got his team to the playoffs, played well in the playoff game, and they have a great offensive line, two really good running backs, two excellent tight ends, and an underrated receiving core. They brought over Devontae Parker, Jacoby Myers. They're going to be better at receiver than people think. And I do think the play calling situation, which we made a lot out of, will work itself out, led by Matt Patricia. So when it's all said and done, Mac Jones is the second best quarterback in the AFC East. They're going to go to the playoffs and they're going to exceed expectations. All right. So if I may channel a Hall of Fame wide receiver, hey, Sam Acho, did Michael say something crazy? <laughs> uh, I think it's, a, I wouldn't say as crazy as what you heard earlier, but I think it's a little bit outlandish. Trey Lance is in a perfect position uh, to have a huge jump, a huge leap, and be more in that MVP conversation. We saw that even on the little sample size of the preseason game, but based off of Kyle Shanahan's history, who's a great offensive play caller, and we, knew, we know that New England doesn't have one. And so for me, like, that's a better person in that conversation, right? If anything, uh, if you want to say something crazy, right, maybe say Trevor Lawrence, right? He has actually a stable ship afloat with Doug Peterson, right? Like, he has a, a chance of having a huge leap, a huge jump this year as well, especially now that Urban Meyer is no longer the coach. And so for me, I like Trey Lance out of those five quarterbacks more, uh, and and then I like Trevor Lawrence's ascension as well. And, and then we get to the Mac Jones of it all, which is interesting. because, And that's the reason I like this take, because it does, to that point, fly in the face of what I feel like everyone else has been telling me on this show for the last six weeks. Graziano, what do you think? I'm less concerned about the Patriots' play-calling situation than I am about their personnel situation. I guess I'll defer to Mike. He has a higher opinion uh, of the group around Mac Jones than I do, particularly everything we've heard about the offensive line in camp and the struggles that they've been having. I think of, of the, by the way, there's six, six quarterbacks that were drafted last year, the projected starters because of David Mil Davis Mills in Houston. But mm -hmm. I think Trey Lance is on the best team of any of them. And I agree with Sacho that Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars are poised to take a major, major jump this year under Doug Peterson. Uh, no team in the league had a, a bigger upgrade at the head coaching position than the Jaguars did versus last year versus this year. So uh, I'm a little concerned about the Patriots in terms of the overall quality of their roster, and that's what would hold it back for me. Well, that's what I like about it, Mike T, is that you are kind of on an island here. You, you, you are standing with this, and you're going to ride it all the way, and we'll see. You may very well turn out to be right, but I don't think most people think of us the way, Mike T, that you do. Yeah, and again, I just go back to last year. He played really well in that playoff game. It was the Patriot defense that couldn't stop the Bills' offense. He's coming off of a pretty high standard going into a year two. No, that's right. I mean, he, he played real well last year. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.